Hey guys, what's up? My name is Flare Gun for Tutorial Cinema, and I have a video for you guys today. And this video is going to be titled "Editing Tips and Tricks Number 3. And the reason it's number three is because I have done two previous editing tips and tricks. So uh, go check those out if you haven't already. Um, but in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to disable your media manager, which will thus uh, allow your Vegas to run faster. Um, you, I'll show you a quick way to match video settings um, for your project. Uh, I'll show you guys what pre-rendering is and I'll show you guys adding tools to the toolbar. So let's go ahead and get started with disabling the media manager. Now many of you guys probably don't know what the media manager is and uh, I'm not too advanced on that. Um, I haven't really gotten into everything that I can do but it's pretty much use useless for me and probably most of you guys will find it useless. Um, so there's a quick way to uh, disable that because it uses some of the uh, RAM needed for Sony Vegas. So what you can do is you can head on to Options, Preferences, and uh, right in the General tab you can find Enable Media Manager right here. Um, what you can do is you can uncheck that and then hit Apply or OK, and then um, and then it will for it to take effect you'd have to shut down Vegas and then restart it. Um, so I'm not going to do that yet. Um, now I'll be showing you guys how to match your video settings. So let's go ahead and let's get a, uh, a Halo 3 wallpaper um, in our uh, timeline here. And uh, let's say that these settings are not um, to the wallpaper. Like my video settings do not match the, the settings of my wallpaper. What I can do is I can head up to the properties right here. Or I can hit Alt Enter and it will bring up my properties. Now what I can do is I can click this uh, icon over here. I'm not sure what the icon is. It looks like a videotape with a folder or something. Um, but it says match media settings and what I can do is I can click that and then I can go and find my file um, and then I, what, I, what I can do here, I'll, I'll go ahead and find it. Um, see I found my file here, what I can do is I can click on it and I can click open and what it will do is it will automatically match all the settings uh, to whatever file that was. So I can go ahead and click OK and uh, it matched the settings so like let's say my frame rate was wrong, it's all now perfectly how it should be um, unless the video file is a little messed up but uh, probably not. Um, so that's a quick way to match your video settings instead of just go opening it up and typing in all this stuff. Um, so now I'm going to show you guys what pre-rendering is. Now you may sometimes you, you guys might be messing around with HD footage. Let's say like this is super HD and uh, like 1080p. Actually, it is 1080p. Um, but since it's just a picture, it's not going to lag because obviously it can't really move. But uh, let's say you have 1080p footage. Um, if if yours is lagging around and you see that over here in your frames it keeps going like 622 dot 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 800 dot 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 that means it's skipping frames and that's why it's lagging. Um, something called pre-rendering can actually help you and uh, and make it perfectly smooth for you to preview. The only problem is that uh, you can only do this for a select amount of time depending on how much RAM you have available and how much you're letting Sony Vegas use. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what to do uh, how to pre-render. So if you guys are familiar with the loop region, what you want to do is select with the loop region um, the region that you want to pre-render, that you want to preview. Um, and then what you can go ahead and do is hit con hold, uh, actually hold shift rather and then hit B. So that's shift B and what it'll do is you'll see, well mine, mine didn't really go that slow because uh, it's just a picture. But usually if you have footage it might take a little bit. Um, and what it'll do is it'll go through it and it'll render it. So then when you can play it, it'll go perfectly smooth. So after you hit Shift B and it completes its process, you can just uh, preview that selected area and it should be perfectly smooth. And uh, I stopped on frame 666. I wonder if that's saying something. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm the devil. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but anyways, what you can do is you can also increase the the RAM that Sony Vegas uses. Um, this is going to be dangerous if you choose too much, but I'll show you guys how to make you basically make it so your RAM previews can be longer. So what you can do is you can head up to Options, Preferences, go to the Video tab, and you'll see right at the top it says Dynamic RAM Preview Max. Um, and it'll also show you the max available that Sony Vegas can use for it. Um, I recommend not going near the max. Um, I recommend three-fourths of the way at most if you need that much, but... Um, a little more than that can actually uh, cause Sony Vegas to run your computer really hard and that's never good. So you can create uh, or you can um, increase this or decrease this to whatever you feels right and uh, go ahead and click OK and that will allow you to um, you know do as much RAM preview as you want. Um, so that's that's pretty much a RAM preview. Let's say like it's laggy just you know loop region shift B and then it'll pre-render it and then I can watch it smoothly. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click right here. Um, actually, well, I'll tell you guys what I'm doing first. This is what I'm going to do to add tools. Um, as you can see up here, this is your toolbar, and it has individual tools like your tutorials that Sony Vegas comes with. Um, so let's double click right in the region, and you'll see this customized toolbar thing comes up. And all these on the left are what you can add, and all these on the le right are what you can remove from the toolbar. So let's say I want a shortcut to um, insert a video track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where I can insert a video track. Um, and here it is, new video track. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where I want it, and then I'm going to add it. And then as you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and close this. It says add new video track. So I can just quickly do that, and it'll add a new video track in my timeline. That's a cool little shortcut. Um, and also you can add separators too. So you can go ahead and mess around with that. Um, that's pretty much editing tips and tricks. Number three, I hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys next time. Please send in your tutorials, and uh, see you guys.